What's up, YouTube? We back with your boy Funny at the Barber, and we here with a brush taper fade transformation. So I want you to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, cause we only finna get lit. Let's get to it. So we finna go ahead and start off with the first transition is the lever open. These are my new clippers, by the way. You feel me? The Ergos, Gammas, I think that's what they call. I don't know, but I'm finna get greedy with them. Uh, next thing we're hop into is we just finding that um that other little transition to that brush fade because it's two different separate sorry it's two separate lever opens that i'm using so i'm just blending the babbler's gold clipper lever open into that ergo or e gamma clipper lever open i guess so yeah we just debulking right now finding that blend much as possible as you can see um i'm not done right there by the parado ridge area this is basically just me putting out the print you feel me bringing out just kind of what i want it to look like and uh now we're just giving it that side ball taper started off with the ball line uh, clint it up with the ball box shavers start off that next transition to make it you know make that blend come to life which was lever open really and now we just shoot finding that blend really flicking trying to make it blurry as possible trying to make it still give it that brush fade look in a way if that makes sense but if you're new hit that subscribe button and like this video and let me know what city and state you from man but we just detailing, super detailing. I'm trying to find this blend much as possible right now. Really not trying to rush it. But yeah, we're doing the back side. Pretty much the same exact steps that we're going to do to the back and the other side. As you can see now, just lever open. And we're going to debulk with them Babless Gold Clippers. As you can see here right now. And we're just basically, like I said, flicking and finding that blend to make that brush fade come to life because i didn't want to make it too light and kind of make it like a ball fade so that's why i was like you know what i'm gonna just give them a ball taper with the brush fade because it was looking a little dry just with the regular brush fade i might like, let me slap him down with a little ball taper on him you ready but nah we're just doing the back same steps balling them out and i didn't go with the wall in the back the wall seniors in the back because it was already to that lever open with them clippers that i have now the ergos or the gammas i'm gonna just say gammas so it was already lever open with the gammas so i might as well just finish out the blend with the gammas just to blend it into that lever open if that makes sense hit that like button if you understand the way i cut hair maybe not but just hit that like button anyway you feel me let's help the algorithm let's push this video to the whole world you feel me but I'm just detailing like I said I wasn't done by the Parada Ridge area and a lot of work that I had to do so I was just detailing right there and getting all them dark spots and the spots that I didn't see and if you're a beginner barber or just a barber in general I always say this in all my videos make sure you look in that mirror the mirror will not lie to you at all you will see all the spots that you do not see because if you're just sitting there staring at your haircut like I said you get tunnel vision you might see something but you ain't gonna see it so you gotta look away refocus your eyes and just pretty much uh, pick up an image, you know, all them dark spots and just get them out of there. You feel me? And just do your detail work. And we just doing the same steps for this uh, taper on this on the sides. Ball lever open. We just um, detailing. And make sure you have a system when you cutting hair. Like, don't just cut and just don't have no type of guide or nothing. You know, like have a system to cut hair. Like if you a lever open one one and a half two stick with that you know what i mean like find a system and stick with it but i'm here right i'm asking him right now like do you want the front line up or you want to just go with the sides he like you can give me the front but just don't hit it too much you feel me just kind of tap the front so i call it the bootleg lineup when i do like just a piece of lining right here and then line up right here and then finish everything else out i call it a bootleg because it's not the whole thing you feel me i'm giving you half off you're gonna see what I'm talking about. I only lined up the two corners because the front, he didn't really want the front lined up, but I kind of touched it up to make it look a little decent. But yeah, we hitting the left side of the edge up right now with them black babbless trimmers. The mugs is some hitters though, by the way. Them definitely is some hitters. When I uh, got done with this haircut, actually it, my clippers were sounding loud like I broke them or something. These liners that I'm using. I mean, I got some more hitters, but yeah so now we working with that barber magic pencil and he has gray hair so you know of wisdom you feel me that's beautiful 
but uh, I gave him the white and a brown pencil. Only reason I gave him the white pencil to kind of bring out the gray hair and then our brown pencil. I gave him that brown pencil over it to basically, you know, doil it down a little bit, you know, and make it, you see what I mean? Like it gave it that skin tone and it also bring out that gray and it give it that, and it gives it that organic, natural, enhanced look. So just giving that edge up a concealed look, you know what I mean? Making the skin pop, making the hair pop. Just the organic. Ooh, it's crispy. Hit that like button, man, if you enjoyed that edge up. But don't go nowhere though, because it's only it's, it's finna get it's finna get nastier. It's finna get nastier. So I want y'all to stay tuned for real. Don't don't go nowhere. We finna hit this back edge up. Back edge up crispy. And we just staying consistent, man, putting pressure to this whole haircut. Making sure we're not missing a beat. If you missing a beat and you move your feet, you might lose your seat. So you got to keep it going. You feel me? We're doing the same thing on this side, bringing that white pencil out, that brush fade, and just bringing that brown. You see how that brown kind of doil it out, make it, you know, not so white, you know, and just kind of make everything come together. Give it that extra pop. But yeah, it's, 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 it's tough when you don't use enhancement so you gotta really really you know show your work it ain't tough for me but just in general like just look at it that's beautiful bro it ain't no harsh line it's blended out you can just see that that pencil just brought that haircut out you feel me it's not none of them memes where them harsh lines be there no i'm finna blend it out i'm finna get it together but yeah same thing on the beard just put both lines on it kind of give it that pop you feel me that organic look you know once you once he leave and you know you know on the beard they be rubbing their face all the time so once he leave that lineup should still be there you know what i mean because i kind of really locked it in as you can see i'm blending that pencil in right there Ooh, tough tough we just hit the front lip on a little mustache i said little mustache he had a little mustache <laughs> no just <laughs> That was crispy. That was just crispy. I forgot that I even kept that part. Yeah, that part was hard. We just razoring this side as well. Same steps. But I always break my gloves. I think I need like an extra large or something. But same exact system. This time I started off with the brown pencil though. Then went with the white. I wanted to try something new on this side just to see what kind of effect it do. Cause I still be learning from like when I watch my videos and stuff or just as I'm cutting, I still be learning, like teaching myself, you know, just to see like, oh, okay, can I do this? Can I do that? But as you can see, that's coming together, bro. That's coming together. I had a razor this side just to kind of sharpen it up a little bit more. But hey, hit that like button, comment, just comment. That's crazy. But yeah, y'all, this is the end of the video. Rock with your boy Funny at the Barber. Make sure you stay tuned for all these lit transformations. If you want to get shouted out in any one of my videos, send me a screenshot to my IG of you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, that you follow my IG. And we finna get to it, man. Stay lit. New beginnings. Stay humble. That's a crispy brush fade. <laughs>